Thank you for joining us for this training video. The purpose of this video is to install VAST VMS and CMS recording software. If you need our camera finder utility because you are using another VMS, please view our Installation Wizard 2 or IW2 video. We'll start by installing VAST. The latest setup file for VAST is available from the download section of the VivoTech website. Double click the setup file to start the installation process. Click through until you reach the installation options. This configuration displayed here is for a single server setup. For a multiple server setup, check the server module you would like to install on that particular server. This modular approach is good for distributing load across multiple servers. But for a single server, we want them all checked. After clicking Next, Choose a username and password. Remember your password for later. You may prefer to change your station name, but generally you should keep the listen port and RTSP port the same. The listen port is for remote client connections from live client and playback. For the RTSP port, VAST is able to act as a relay for the camera and to restream video and audio. You may change your local drive recording destination here, or if you'd like, you can also choose a different location later, which we will cover in another video. When finished, click Install. After a short wait, click Close. As you can see, the installation of VAST is fast and uncomplicated. Double click the Live Client shortcut on your desktop to connect to VAST and immediately begin adding cameras for live viewing. Unless you are connecting remotely, put a checkbox next to Login Local Station. Type in the credentials you chose earlier during the installation. Then log in. You can see an insert camera menu appears. This appears every time VAST starts with no cameras installed. Here we have the option to search for the cameras, select them, and type in a username and password if necessary. While not required, there is advanced filtering. We can filter by address range, We can also filter by address prefix, model prefix, or even MAC address. The MAC address might be useful if we just added a new batch of cameras. We can select all of the cameras, or we can just select one. Once we click OK, the VAST status will update showing whether or not it was added successfully. 
It'll also show different messages depending on if it can't connect. For example, it might show that it can't connect because the username and password are incorrect. Once the status shows OK for all of the cameras, I'll click Insert. And we can see the status now changes to Success. I'll close both of these windows, and that concludes the VAST installation. I hope you enjoyed this instructional video showing how easy it is to install VivoTech VAST recording software. We thank you for watching and choosing VivoTech. Remember to visit us at www.vivotech.com to see all of the latest VivoTech products.